welcome welcome thank you for joining me here at black moon goddess intuition this is the black moon butterfly effect i am black moon i will be doing the weekly elemental for my air signs my aquarius my gemini and my libra all right so let's get into it okay that's so spirit. Thank you, my ancestors, my angels, my Alicia, my celestial, my celestial, my black beings. Thank you for letting me be here today. Give me a clear message for my air signs for the week ahead. Give me a clear sign, a clear message for my air signs for the week ahead. What energy are they leaving behind? What energy will they be in this week? What assistance or help will be coming in for them? Any challenges or obstacles? And what is the predicted outcome of the week? I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. All right, let's get the energy. What energy are my air signs leaving behind this week? What energy are they coming out of this week, please? My earth signs got this card too. Liberation as the first one. You're coming out of, you're liberating yourself from something here. The um, Brahara, Brahara Mudra. Liberation. What energy are they in this week? What energy are they in this week? You're liberating yourself from something. You're in the energy of fearlessness. The Abrahaya Mudra. Ahaya, Ahaya, Ahaya Mudra. You're in this energy of fearlessness this week. Is there any help or assistance to help them through this week? We've got release the Kali Mudra. The Kali Mudra is going to assist you. So you're going to have some assistance in releasing something. What? Ooh. What is the challenges? You have commitment. You're going to have a challenge to being committed to this liberation, to this fearlessness, and um, to the help to to the help that is coming to help you release it, to assist you in releasing this um, energies. We'll get more into it. And the energy of the, um, the outcome of the week is higher knowledge. The Jhana Mudra. The Jhana Mudra. The Jhana Mudra. Okay, so liberation. You're coming, you're leaving behind or coming out of this liberated energy. Um, the Braharava, Braharava Mudra. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. It is liberation. It assists with unity, freedom, and liberation. It assists all the systems of the body, supports inner stillness and courage, releases fears. I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss. I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss. I honor the innate union of consciousness and bliss. So you are in this energy of liberating yourself, freeing yourself, becoming still, I'm feeling. I'm also feeling like um, it's taking a lot of courage to get to this point for you guys. I don't feel like you guys have been, um, I don't think you've been in this energy for very long, but it's like it came and it went. It's like you came into this energy, you stilled your mind, you stilled your energy, you listened to what you had going on within, right? And you had you took an evaluation of what needed to go, what no longer served you, what was fear based instead of love based or trust or um, based in trust. Okay, you're moving into this energy of fearlessness, the abhaya, abhaya mudra. Okay, liberation is left hand down, right hand over. Let your thumbs touch. Liberation, the Habra, 
Brahava Mudra, okay? Fearlessness, left hand up. It assists in safety, courage, steadfastness, reduces anxiety, supports um, illumination, um, supports elimination, cultivates a sense of fearlessness and grounding. Hold your right hand slightly cupped at shoulder height, palm facing outward, allowing the right elbow to fall close to your waist like so. It says, I, my courage and self reassurance, my self assurance is unwavering. My courage and self-assurance is unwavering. This is belief in yourself. You're fearless in your endeavors. You're not taking no for an answer. You're not letting anyone come in and derail you. You're not listening to the naysayers and the, and the haters. You're going ahead and freeing yourself from all of the constraints that you've been under all of this time. I think this has a lot to do with your thought process. This is, has. I'm feeling like this has a lot to do with the way you think about things your conscious being conscious of your of your narrative right being conscious of the narrative that you tell yourself be conscious of the stories that you're telling yourself be conscious of what you say when things go wrong being conscious of what you say when things go right being conscious of um what you think or um what feelings those trigger for you and you're being fearless at crushing them and letting them go okay you're going to be having some help releasing it with the kali mudra like so Cross your thumbs. Kali Mudra. Kali Mudra is expand. It assists with expansiveness, release, and spiritual purification. Directs the breath and allows. Um, directs the breath and awareness to neck and throat area. Energy energizing the thyroid gland, your metabolism, and energy. Release muscular tension from shoulders, neck, and throat center. Okay. You interlace foot interlace the fingers with both hands in the front of the heart with the right thumb over the left, extending the mid the the index fingers. Be careful using this mudra if you have a thyroid condition. Okay. It says I release all obstacles and align with my true nature. What did I say? Okay, like so. Right thumb over left in front of the heart. And you say the mudra, I mean the the mantra, I release all obstacles and align to my true nature. I love that energy. Okay. Um, it seems like you guys will be having difficulties with your commitments this week. Um, Shiva Lingam Mudra. Okay. This assists with digestion, determination, and focus. Um, I feel like you guys are going to be... It's going to be hard for you to stay in the energy of fearlessness. Right? It's going to be hard for you to stay in this energy of liberation. Because... Ooh, excuse me. You're, you're gonna, it's going to be difficult to release all of these things. There's a lot of things that you're going to have to release. It's your mental processing, your emotional um, reaction... And your spiritual fortitude, okay? It says, be cautious if you have hypertension. Monitor your effects. This um, mudra's mantra is, I align awareness, focus, and commitment. So this, uh, this week for my air signs is all about being aware. Being consciously aware of your thoughts, your emotions, how, your, how certain people make you feel, how certain places make you feel. How um, certain situations make you feel. I feel like it's also releasing um, toxicity out of your life. Because I feel like there's a lot of people that are in your energy right now. That don't necessarily have your best interests at heart. But they are, um, they're around. Right? They're around. So while you're trying to let go and release, um, release, release some things. They're there to like keep hopping them keep hopping on it for you you know what i mean like keep bringing it up and things like that while you're trying to get over it and release it and be fearless about it they're bringing doubt and fear into the situation okay so that's going to make it hard for you to stay committed to it but i do see you releasing some of these people and some of these energies so that you are committed because at the end of the becoming um the outcome of the week is higher knowledge the jhana mudra 
it assists in meditation, concentration, and wisdom. It balances right and left sides of the brain, improving improves um, concentration, opens and balances the third eye chakra, assists in meditation. It says, I awaken to the divine wisdom of the universe. So a lot of you might be taking up a meditation practice this week. Very good. Everyone should meditate. Start your day off with a meditation. Um, put your intentions in the air for the day. Put your intentions in the air for the week. I feel like a lot of you, if you were had a meditation practice and you got away from it, you're going to be more diligent in it now. Um, moving forward this week. So we're going to um, get some more clarification for my guys. So... The energy of liberation for my air signs. What are my Aquarius being liberated? What are they liberating? What are they releasing? What are they leaving in the past? My Aquarius, please. Thank you. Look at that. Complexity, and then on the bottom of the deck, we have Aquarius. So that just gives me confirmation that this right here, this message coming up right here, is for my Aquarius. So, my Aquarius, I have um, complexity. You're releasing, you're liberating complexity. Um, irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, misses the mark, requires translation, adjusts, makes cautious. Makes curious, I'm sorry. Educates and transforms. So I feel like you're living behind complex notions of um, the universe, really. I'm feeling like you're living behind complex people. People that irritate you. What did I say? You're leaving, you're leaving behind people that irritate you. Jobs that annoy you. Things that just seem like it's just way too much for... It's like it's not worth it, right? It's not worth all of this trouble that I'm going through for this. So you're leaving behind complexity. Things that are complex, things that are causing you irritation, things that are not um, just not in alignment with where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do, you're leaving that behind. You're leaving behind complex people that want to always be um, that, that negative Nancy. Like they always, when you have something good to say, they come back with something negative. You're leaving that behind. Okay, um, you're liberating yourself and um, re um, not liberating yourself and you're also in this energy of being okay with letting people go. Because I feel like before, you know, you wanted to be liked, you wanted people to, you know, um, you wanted to have all the friends, you wanted to be this, you wanted to be that, and you wanted to have all of these people around you. But you're realizing that the people that you have around you are not necessarily there for your highest good. They serve their purpose. You have outgrown them. Okay? I'm also feeling like for my Aquarius, is you're in this energy like you know. You just know that... Th their time has run its course. I feel like this has a lot to do with the people that you're around. Your co-workers that you um, used to go out to lunch with or hang out with after the job. Um, family members that you just went above and beyond for. Um, the, um, your, ma your mate or your spouse or your significant other that is just not making the mark they're not making a the grade they didn't understand the assignment and you're tired of giving them chance after chance after chance right now you're like yo i'm done with all of this it's just too much i know that i deserve better i know that i'm worth more i know that there's something better out here for me and it all and this has and i'm feeling like this has a lot to do with the connections of people so you're cutting cords with people you're um you're getting to this place where it's like yo it's my way or the highway. All this other crap, me trying to conform, me trying to figure out what's wrong with you and, you know, how to better be this for you and blah, blah, blah. You're just like, yo, this is just too much. You're like, dead that. This is way too much. I don't need all of this. It's just too daggone much. So you're in the process of releasing complexity right now. You're like, yo, if it's too complex, I'm just, I want simplicity. You know, sometimes simplicity is better for you. And like, and you just know this. You have this feeling like, yo, this is this is enough. Enough is enough. What do you have for my Gemini, please? 
what energy is my Gemini leaving in the past? What energy are they coming out of this week? What energy are they liberating this week? My Gem... Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, too many. My Gemini, please. My Gemini, please. My Gemini, please. Second house, assets, material world, possessions, finance, talent, value, solidarity, worthiness, wardrobe, luxuries, credit score, security, and aesthetics. Okay, so you're letting go of the superficial. You're letting, you're liberating yourself, my Gemini's, of the superficial. You're seeing the duality of life. You're seeing the cause and effect. You're seeing how the effect of putting too much emphasis on your material world is not um, for your benefit. You know what I'm saying? You're worried about your finances. You're worried about how you look. You're worried about the people talking about you. You're worried about um, fear of um, being accepted. You know what I mean? You're worried about your credit score. You're worried about feeling secure. And I'm really feeling like this has a lot to do with your material world. You know, your finances, the things that make you comfortable on this 3D plane. I feel like you've been overly concerned with these things. And I feel like there's more of a um, emphasis on just trusting that everything will be taken care of for you. Trusting that, you know, your assets and your resources, everything that you need is going to be coming to you. Some of you are, are, are in this energy of lack and you're leaving that energy behind. You're coming out of this energy of lack. You're coming out of this energy of scarcity. You're coming out of this energy of poverty. You're coming out of this energy of this woe is me, I can't get ahead type energy. You're leaving that behind. You're liberating yourself of fear of um, not having enough. Okay, this is like a fear of not having enough. Okay, you're leaving, you're liberating yourself from that. You're stilling your mind. You're finding courage and um, moving forward, knowing and trusting that everything will be taken care of for you. What do you have for my Libra, please? Thank you. North Node Destiny. This came out for my Capricorns and my Earth sign reading under liberation as well. So my um, my Libra, you're going towards your destiny here. You're leaving behind um, this energy of feeling like you don't have a purpose. It's like you are discovering your destiny. It's like you're finding your purpose. You're finding what means something to you. You're forgetting a routine of some sort. You're researching things. Your your interests are peaked. Right. You are answering the call. Like, you know there's more to life than what you got going on right now. And my Libras are, like, trying to find that balance. So they understand that they have to um, get to this place of, I see a plane, like, dumping cargo off because it's too heavy. It's like you're dumping, you're dumping, out, you're dumping out the cargo to make your trip a lot lighter and smoother going towards your destiny, your purpose, um, what it is that excites you and brings balance and harmony into your life, okay? What energy are my air signs in this week? What is this fearlessness about, please, for my Aquarius? What is this fearlessness about for my Aquarius this week? What energy are they in as far as this fearlessness? Please give me a card for my Aquarius, please. Thank you. You got the Ace of Cups. It says, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. Again, this is you leaving behind complex relationships. You, you are in this place of, I need something that's easy. I need something that's fluid. I need something that's peaceful. I need something that's harmonious. You know, my my um, my Aquarius are just like, yo, I know. And then the crystal on here is aquamarine. So that might be, you um, for my Aquarius, you might want to get you a piece of aquamarine, okay? 
It says, I welcome new love and trust what it brings. It's like you're trusting that life doesn't have to be this complicated. Situations and people don't have to be this complicated. You're like, yo, I am in this place of, of embracing new opportunities, new beginnings, new love, finding, um, finding a place of harmony within myself and within my environment. You know what I mean? It's like you just know. You know what you need to do and you're doing it and you're fearless about it. You're fearless about achieving your happiness. You're, you're, you're fearless about going after the love that you want. What makes your heart sing, whether it's a job, whether it's a person, whether it's actually moving your location, you know, what type of area would you live in that would make you feel good? It's like the land energizes you itself. You know what I mean? It's like these people, these these people that you're going to wars, that you're seeking out. You're going towards things that make you happy, things that make your heart sing, things that bring love and joy and beauty into your life. Not darkness, complexity, and puzzling, um, puzzling thoughts. You know what I mean? You're coming out of that. So you're moving into this place of unconditional love and being able to love yourself enough to be fearless enough to go after your dreams, to go after your person, to go um, to make that deal for your job, to to go and find investors, to invest in yourself if necessary. You're fearless and and you're going to be in this energy of like, yo, just stop. You're stopping people in their tracks when they're coming in with negativity. You're like, no, 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 no. It's all peace and love and harmony over here. If you can't get with that program, you can step off. You know what I mean? You're like, yo, I'm done. I'm done with the complex. I'm done with the people not doing what they're supposed to do. They're lying to me. They're telling me they're going to do this. They're not going to do that. I give you time and chance and chance and nothing happens. You know what I mean? Yo, you're like, I'm done with that. So you're in this energy of being fearless about the love that you're trying to, to um, bring into your life. The joy, the harmony, the peace. You're fearless about this. You're like, yo, I'm working long and hard to get toxicity, narcissism, all this other BS out my life. I'm working long and hard to find love and peace and joy and harmony. If you're coming with the BS, peace out. You know what I mean? And you're fearless in this. You're like, you're speaking what you need. You're saying what you need to say. You're putting your foot down. You're setting those healthy boundaries. Okay. What if, what, okay. My Gemini's. We got the moon card. We got rainbow moonstone as well for your crystal. It says, my intuition guides me to the right decisions. So this, like, again, this has to do with your assets. This has to do with your material world, um, my Gemini's. You're, look, you're using your intuition as your guide. You're letting your inner truth be your guide. You're, you're being, you're letting your intuition guide you. You're speaking your truth. You're speaking love into yourself. And you're being fearless. You're being determined. You're going through this this energy of like, yo, you see all these swirls around here? It's like, yo, you're done with all of this. You're done with all of this. You're grounding yourself in a place of courage. You're grounding yourself in a place knowing that you, you are reassuring yourself that, hey, my intuition is my guide. My intuition was not going to leave me wrong. You know, my God's God's source spirit is here to guide me in the right direction. And you're listening to that, even though you're not sure where it's going to go. Because the moon card is all about your insecurities. It's all about things that are hidden, right? There are things going on in the hit in the other in the higher realms that you're not seeing, but you're trusting in now because you're like, yo, I can't just keep going by what's happening in my material world because something ain't right. I'm understanding that. Look. I keep doing this, I keep pushing, I keep doing, I keep giving, I keep, I just keep, keep doing and keep giving and keep, it's not working for me. So I have to, and you're being, I mean, it's like your intuition is telling you, you're being guided to just trust, to let go and to trust. Even though you don't know what the next step is, you're being guided to trust that everything is going to happen for you in divine timing and in, um, in a divine order. Sort of like the Wheel of Fortune energy, right? Okay, what do you have for my Libra, please? 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 My Libra is just like, yo, I got something to do, man. 
there's something that I need to do. Okay. Um, it's You got the four of pentacles, but I'm trying to get one card, so I'm going to put it back. It says, I trust I am always safe and protected. I think I'm going to take that one. It says, um, I trust that I'm always safe and protected. This is letting, this is for my um, Libras. They're like, I'm going towards my destiny. I'm going towards my purpose. I have to trust that what I'm doing is going to lead me to the balance, to the harmony, to the equilibrium that I need. I'm, I have to. I'm trusting that I'm protected and that I'm safe in my journey. My Libras are like, yo. I got to find this balance. I got to find this equilibrium because without it, I'm going to go insane. There's a piece, there's a piece of you that's like, yo, there's this call that I got to answer. There's something that I got to do. I can't stay here spinning my wheels, worrying about this old stuff when there's something brand new in front of me. Whether it's a job, I feel like it has a lot to do with your finances too. Like, what, what is going to make you happy? You know what I mean? What, what are you going to do that's going to make you happy? What in your, what in your environment, what, in the, what can you do? What can you produce? What can you give to the world that is going to give back to you in kind? You know what I mean? It's like you have a lot of ideas. You have a lot of, um, you have a lot of intuitive, like, what, how can I put this? It's like my Libra scales are unbalanced, right? It's like they're teeter tottering. It's like, yo, what is gonna, what is, what, am, what is gonna make my heart sing? What is gonna be feeding my ego, right? You're trying to find the correct balance of light and dark, basically. Your ego, you're trying to find that middle ground. So you're trying to feed both bears, but you need to feed the one bear, which is your intuition, which is your higher self, to get to this point of finding purpose in your life. I feel like you're just feeling like you're just existing right now and then you don't have a purpose. You don't have a goal. You don't have um, a direction. But I feel like you're coming out of that and trying to find a direction. So you're, you're coming into this place of being fearless, of knowing that, hey, and having courage and being self-assured that, hey, I am protected. I am safe. I am on a, I am on my journey. I am doing what I need to do. Okay? And I have to. There's this energy of like, I have to. I have to know that I'm straight. I trust that I'm I'm loved. I trust that I'm protected. I'm trust that I'm being guided. I'm trusting in the divine. I'm trusting in um, the people that are being sent to me. I'm trusting in the order of things, the cosmic order of life. I'm trusting that every step that I make is taking me closer and closer to my purpose, to my destiny, to my passion. To balance, to equilibrium in this life, okay? Mm -mm. Okay, we're going to go and move along. All right, I'm getting here. They said take these, so I'm going to go with the Egyptian god. All right, it says release here. The Kali Mudra, expansiveness, release, spiritual purification. Um, I release all obstacles and align to my true nature. So it's like coming in, it's like liberation twice, right? It's like you released all your fears. You've calmed that monkey mind. You've come to this realization that, hey, I need to be in this place of constant contemplation and meditation, right? in order to cultivate this energy of self-assurance to trust your own inner guidance system and now you're releasing you're releasing you're like it's this release for me i'm feeling surrender it's like you're surrendering to the divine order of things you're the, you're surrendering to expansiveness you're just you're surrendering to the spiritual purification you're like yo i need to clear out my energy yo and you're doing that. So you're releasing toxic energy. You're, re you're releasing toxic people. You're releasing toxic narratives. You're releasing even um, even parts of yourself that you have realized are not for your highest good. Like you've been operating in this lower energy, right? You're releasing that. Which is, pur which is purifying 
your um, spiritual energy, which is also energizing you and giving you more, um, which is energizing you. So it's clearing, it's clearing up the channels. That's basically what I'm getting. It's clearing up the channels. All right. What can you tell me about this um, Kali Mudra for my Aquarius, please? Can you give me more for my Aquarius, please? Can you give me more for my Aquarius, please? Yeah, and this fearless is a 10. Like, yo, it's over with. It's a done gotta. This is where I'm at now. My Aquarius, please. My Aquarius, please. Thank you. Creation. Amun-Ra. Number two, my Aquarius, you got Amun-Ra. You're releasing to creation. You're releasing to the expansiveness of creation. So my Aquarius are all about um, the help that is coming for you is creation. Like God's source spirit is coming in to help you cultivate and create a harmonious um, future, a journey on your path. You know, you're surrendering to creation. You're allowing the assistance to come to you. You're not restricting how your manifestations come. You're not restrict. You're not allowing complex and just, um, you're not allowing confusion, complexities, other people's judgments and projections to interfere with what you're creating, with what you're trying to build. You're, you're like, you're bound and determined, yo. You're like, yo, no. I know what I need to do. And you're doing it. You're surrendering to creation and you're becoming more creative. You're becoming more expansive in your creations. Some of you are artists and you're coming out with beautiful new designs, beautiful new artwork. People, some of you are designers. I'm seeing somebody that's a designer. You're coming up with beautiful new pieces. You know what I mean? Others of you, like you're coming out with creative ways to run your business, creative ways to get your name out there. You're like, yo, I've got a goal to set. I've got a goal and I'm going for it. You're not allowing any distractions in. So you're allowing this this help of, of releasing um, and surrendering to creation, the co-creation to come in. You're you, This is how this release is helping you this week. It help, it's helping you cultivate creation, a spiritual, like, uh, a spiritual bond of some sort to your, um, to your, to your goals, to your achievements, to what it is that you're trying to manifest this week. Whether it's a relationship or a job, I really do feel like it has something to do with the creative processes of your business. So I feel like this is for like entrepreneurs, those people that are in a cre that have a creative space. Like if you're um, a graphic designer, if you're a fashion designer, if you make a beauty product, if you um, make baskets and things like that. So it's like the help that's coming in is like ideas are coming left and right for my air signs. Hey, boo, how you doing? How are you? That's what's helping you this week. It's by you liberating yourself from all this complex stuff and all these people that is trying to tell you what to do and like all, it's like too many in, 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 in your ear. You're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. And what, by doing that and releasing all that stuff and surrendering to the process, you are becoming more creative. You are being able to um, open more doors, be more expansive, allow um, the right energies in, okay? What do we have as far as assistance this week for my, what is it, one of my Libras, my Geminis? Gemini, what do we have for my Gemini? What assistance is coming in for my Gemini this week under this release? What is coming for my Gemini, please? What is coming for my Gemini, please? Okay. Gemini. Ooh, you're releasing resentment. We got Seth, the number eight. 
And I feel like this makes a lot of sense. You guys are resenting other people for that, grabbing their goals. You're, you've been resenting your life. You've been resenting what's been going on in your life. You haven't been exactly happy with things. You are releasing this. You're becoming more self-assured. You're becoming more aware of the fact that you are resenting people and how that's affecting your life and how that's affecting your money. How that's... Um, hindering your assets your resources you know what i'm saying how that's blocking you from success how it's blocking you from your goals you are releasing the fact that you you're releasing betrayal you're releasing heartbreak you're releasing um being jealous you know you're releasing all these negative energies that are resentment because resentment is what feeling like you know you don't you, you're unworthy but other people are so you 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 judge you project you um you you put them in this energy that hey well they got it I hate them I don't like them because ooh they this you you're like releasing that hater mentality you know what I mean and you're coming into this and that's gonna help you that's the help that is coming in to release resentment is gonna help you you know what I mean for my Aquarius to release and surrender to creation is going to help you this week okay. So just be be co conscious of the fact that you might be resentful of someone. And it's okay, but release that junk. Release that energy because it's going to stay stagnant and it's going to stay in your body, it's going to stay in your thoughts, it's going to stay in your emotions, it's going to keep you um it's going to keep you stagnant. So release that. Release that. Some of you are resenting God because of why, the way things are. You know what I mean? Just let all of that go and come to a place of understanding how energy works. And how that resentment has kept your money stagnant, your achievement stagnant, your success stagnant, and your, and, um, your resources not um, accumulating the way you want. The things in your material world are being affected by the fact that you resent XYZ, a person, a place, creation, God, source, the job. You know, it's like you're blaming all these people, all these different things instead of looking at it's you that is holding the resentment and that resentment is blocking you. So helping you release that is going to help you in the long run. What do you have for my Libra? What do you have for my Libra? Thank you. Devastation. You're releasing devastation. The help that is coming to you is amut. Okay? It says you did that the help that is coming is a release. So you're releasing devastation. You're releasing um you're releasing the things that have caused you to feel inadequate. Thing you're releasing, you're releasing failure. You're releasing, you know, failed relationships. You're releasing the the need to be right devastating as it may be you know what i mean you're releasing the hurt you're releasing the pain you're releasing all of these things that have kept you stagnant as well i feel like for my libra it's like it it's so devastating to not have balance to not find um to be able to justify the means to the end you know i'm still seeing like anubis at at the end of life where, you know, you got the scales of my out here. You 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 got this feather on one and you got your heart on the other. And it's like, is your heart being your guide or are you moving in a place of spirit? Right? You understood that moving in a in a I heard moving as a human. So instead of so moving as a human being instead of, as a spirit as a human being instead of a spiritual being has devastated you up until this point it has stagnated you up until this point it has blocked you from your blessings and has blocked you from your purpose and your destiny so you're releasing that energy of devastate being devastated of being anxious of being worried of just just negativity it's like you're releasing all of this stuff. You're putting it on a boat like that's another life. Go away and I'm on a new mission new mission. You know what I mean? You're 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 setting your sights higher. You're setting your sights higher. Okay? Prosperity is coming for my air signs this week. 
prosperity, especially with this higher knowledge. Prosperity is definitely coming in for you. Okay. We're going to look at uh, take a look at what's going to be challenging you this week. Your commitments are going to be challenged this week. Like, yo, you like how bad do you want it? That's what I'm getting. How bad do you want it? How bad do you want it? Okay, let's pull some of the energies of the seven. The oracles of the seven energies. Oracles of the seven energies. So the advice is to release, surrender to creation, surrender to source, my Aquarius. My um, Gemini's is to release... Um, resentment, uh, resenting people, resenting situations, resenting um, spirit. You need, and for my Gemini, my Libras, I'm sorry. You need to your your advice, your help is to um, release being the devastated energy that you've been in. This energy of not being enough. This energy that things just don't work out for you. This energy of where is the balance? You know what I'm saying? It's there. It's there. Okay, my Aquarius. What is the challenges? What is challenging my the commitments of my Aquarius this week? Beautiful uncaging. You're you're being um the challenge for you, my Aquarius is is the commitment to letting your heart be free to uh, unlocking the beauty that comes with surrender. The beauty that comes with liberation. The beauty that comes with letting go of this complex energy. Okay, let me let me give you a little something. Here's a skinny for my Aquarius. I just kind of feel like you guys have been used, so used to this, this, this puzzled energy. Things just not being right. You have, you're used to that. So it's going to be hard for you to be committed to saying, yo, I'm leaving that behind because... In all actuality, you're feeding your ego by keeping by staying there because you know how to navigate these choppy, puzzling, complex waters. You know how to live like this. You don't know how to live with ease. You don't know how to live with following your knowing instead of what you see. So it's going to be challenging for you to commit to unleashing who you really are, unleashing and letting go all of this. All of this energy of confusion, of mystif oh, it's so mystical and mystifying and, oh my gosh, you know, all of this. What is happening? Da -da 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 -da. It's like, you, you know. You know. So go for what you know at this point. That's what this thing, you're being challenged here. Your challenges is your commitment to change. Your commitment to yourself. Your commitment to following the guidance of spirit. Your commitment to welcoming in new love, new perspectives, okay? That's going to be your challenge this week. Your commitment to um, yourself, okay? What do we have for my um, Gemini, please? What is going to be challenging my Geminis this week? What will be challenging my Geminis this week? What will be challenging my Geminis this week? What will be challenging my Gemini's this week? Thank you. Willing release. You have the willing, you're gonna, it's like, okay, so my Gemini's is like, you guys want to be in this air of making the right decisions, making sure, knowing, trusting the decisions that you make. But you're, you're, gonna have a problem being willing to release resentment you're gonna be you're gonna your commitment to to your path is gonna be tested like are you committed to releasing resentment of other people are you committed to the changes that you are being the change that you want to see are you committed to um willingly surrender to the process and be fearless like are you gonna are you going to use um are you going to, the challenge is being committed to being self-assured. Like, 
you say you want to make better decisions. You say you want to trust the decisions that you make. You say that you don't want to be in this energy of resentment. You say that you want your assets to grow. You're saying that you want your money to be stable. You're saying that you want, you know, the people around you to be stable, but you're not stable within yourself. That's going to be a problem. So you're going to have to be committed to being, to willingly surrender to the process, you know? Stop blaming other people. Stop blaming the system. Stop blaming your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your husband, your wife. Your, stop blaming everybody. Be committed to understanding that what's happening in your material world right now is all you. And all on your perspective. Okay? All right. What do we got for my Libra, please? What are the challenges for my Libra this week? Thank you. Ears wide open. This is um, a Firefox for me. Um, I'm feeling like, and it's the number 33. You're going to be having a hard time being committed to the cause. Like, listening to the guidance of spirit. Listening to your own um, internal guidance system. You're going to have issues with that. Are you committed to listening, to understanding, and following the divine guidance that's being given to you? My Libra. Excuse me. My Libra. Shiva Lingam is all about, um, you know, Shiva Lingam is good for money. It's good for bringing in good things. But you have to be committed. You have to be committed to the change that you want to see. Are your ears wide open? Are you listening to what is being said and what is not being said? Are you listening to what you're saying to yourself? Are you listening to what other people, or what are you allowing other people to um, infiltrate your mind with? You have to be committed to your true north, to your purpose, to your destiny, to what it is, that, um, to your journey. And you have to have integrity. You can't be just going out here, you know, being like, okay, well, it's about me. And this is a decision that I made and not taking into account how it's affecting the people around you. Okay? Because on your journey, you can't take this journey alone. You need help along the way. You have to trust and make and trust that the decisions that you're making to incorporate certain ideas, certain ideologies, certain people, certain methods, whatever it may be, that it's for you. And be reassured by listening to your guidance, by listening to being fearless and committed to releasing the devastation that has befelled you before and knowing that you are um, protected and you are safe in this moment to move forward. Is not going to be a repeat. You know what I mean? Okay. You guys are doing some heart healing this week. My air signs, you guys are healing your hearts this week. Okay. You are healing your hearts this week. All right. And let's get what is the outcome. What is the advice and outcome of this week? Higher knowledge is overall my um, Aquarius, you got peace. What did I say? Latariki Mace. You got peace. You want peace. Like I said, higher knowledge is going to bring you in this peace of uh, mind. It's going to allow you to um, assist you in your meditation practices. Like I said, you're going to have meditation that's going to help you bring in the peace that you need. You're done with complexity. You're done with anger. You're done with people trying to tell you what to do. You're done with not being able to um, see yourself and see love in everything that you do. I feel like this peace, this um, higher knowledge, by the end of this week, you're going to be coming into this energy of being able to see beauty, being grateful, um, having an attitude of gratitude. That's what I heard. For the peace that is coming, peace, beauty, and love that is coming to you this week. You're, you're being um, guided to seeing these things. So it's all about um, trusting your meditations. I feel like some of you are going to have some very prophetic meditations. So just keep on with it. If you're just starting to meditate and you're not really sure, just do the mudra. Say it, incantation. Stay present in the moment, you know? And there's many ways to do meditation. So if you're feeling like trying... Oh my gosh. 
all the cards fell. Did y'all see this? Okay, so for my Aquarius, it's like, you know, it's like stringing up the lights and like being like, yo, I'm going I'm to look good regardless. Like, even though I'm going to look good, even when I feel bad, that's the type of thing. It's like you're faking it till you make it. And by the end of the week, I think you're going to find some peace in that. I think you're going to find some peace in the higher knowledge that's coming to you. Um, you're going to have peace within with that re self-reassurance that is coming for you. You're going to feel at peace with being fearless about what your goals and your actions and the change that you're trying to accomplish. What do you have? Dang. What do you have for my Gemini, please? What do you have for my Gemini, please? What do you have for my Gemini, please? What do you have for my Gemini? Stability. You're going to have stability in your finances because you're going to be making the right decisions. I feel like you're going to be trusting in your higher, um, your inner guidance system. You're going to be trusting in the higher knowledge that is coming to you. You're not going to be so fixed on the material world because you know that you are guided. You know that you're making the right decisions. You're, re you're letting go of resentment of other people and things of that nature. Excuse me. My Gemini's, you're in this energy of you want things in your physical world to be stable. You want things, you want to be able to feel comfortable in your own skin. You want to be comfortable in your own environment. This is your home. This is your workplace. This is your relationship. Okay? And I feel like that stability is coming because you are listening to a higher order. You are understanding the higher order of things. You're letting go of resentment of other people. Oh, they got... Oh, uh, they got a good relationship. Oh, I wish my relationship was like that. And then you secretly are resenting them for having these relationships. You know what I mean? About their money. You know, you're, you're, you're letting go of all of that. And you're coming to a place of understanding that your stability has always been there. Your stability is around you always and forever. Abundance, prosperity, success is always there. You got to willingly re release resentment in order to get the gifts that are coming to you. The blessings that are coming to you. The love, the joy, the opportunities that are coming to you. And once you do, you're going to start to see that there is um, a stable thought process. A stable, there's stable ground. You're on stable ground. It's not as bad as you think. Okay? And what do we have for my Libra, please? And what do we have for my Libra? What is the outcome for this week for my Libra? What is the outcome for this week for my Libra? Ooh. Aromela. Great diviner. What? Say word. My Libra. My Libra. You got Aromela. Aromela is um the um Ifa god of divination. Um wisdom, knowledge, and perseverance. Okay? So he you you're definitely coming into like the higher knowledge like you're gonna have prophetic dreams you're gonna have um visualizations that are gonna come to you that are gonna happen just like this because you're releasing all of this devastating energy right you're going towards your purpose you're going towards your goal you're going towards your north node right you got a roman that's showing up in your in your um as um your outcome, like you are going to understand that you can divine your own self. You are listening to divinity. You are listening, you are answering the call, right? You are being called to something more, my Libra. So you are listening to that and you're finding peace and equilibrium in your spiritual and material world. That's what I'm feeling, okay? Higher knowledge is coming. When I say higher knowledge for my Libra, yo, this is higher knowledge. Like a Romy lies the bombdiggy.com yo you know he's god's right hand he was there when divinity was heaven he was the romula was there when destiny was given out when before you came to this 3d before you came to this world a romula was there when you told god what you wanted so he's coming into like okay i'm gonna help you out here because he is the great diviner he's like yeah i know what your destiny is i know what you're supposed to be doing i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna show you I'm going to come in and I'm going to show you. I like that energy. 
okay? And on the bottom of the deck, we have just go. Just go. Just do it. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to not um, know all of the steps. But fearlessness is moving and having courage even when you are afraid. That's showing that you're fearless. You're facing your fears. You're facing your doubts. You're facing the things that make you feel uneasy. You're facing the complex decisions and having those uncomfortable conversations and setting the boundaries. You're doing what needs to be done in order for you to achieve your happiness, your goals, okay? Your vision. You are letting it go. All right, I'm going to leave it there for my beautiful, beautiful air signs, my Aquarius, my Gemini, my Libras. Y'all make this week rock, you know what I mean? Liberation, fearlessness, and release. You know, the help that is coming in is all of the things that you need to release. The realization of the things that you need to release and surrender to. That is going to assist you throughout this week to help you overcome your obstacles and your challenges. That's going to get you to this place of higher knowledge, higher understanding, um, and moving in a divine flow. Okay? All right, guys. I love you. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Enjoy the rest of your week. And... Be blessed. Peace.